Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm using a ring light today that I got for my birthday. Hey. <laughs> um, this video is gonna be about Tricapta and starting Tricapta and what it is and just like my journey with it because I just got it in the mail after it took so long to get here. Like it was in the process. My insurance was processing it for like two weeks and I was feeling so shitty. So um, I was just really needing it. But yeah, so it finally came. But basically Trichafta is a drug that just came out to help people with cystic fibrosis. It covers 90% of people with cystic fibrosis. Um, there's still 10% of people with two rare mutations so it doesn't work. You have to have either a Deva Delta or one Delta and one rare mutation, which I have. Um, people with CF have all different mutations. There's thousands of mutations. I think, yeah, there's, there's thousands of mutations <clears throat> you can get, but the two most common are Delta 508. Most people have double Delta 508. And a drug called Kaleidico came out I think when I was in like fourth grade either that or I forget if it was Syndico or Kaleidico but one of them came out when I was really young but I never qualified for it until now so I'm pretty excited to start um I basically I think it like changes how your cells work like all the medicine that the CF community has right now is like treatments like breathing treatments oxygen, steroids, antibiotics, and it all just like helps treat the infections you get or all these things you get because of your CF. But it, it, the antibiotics treat like infections that you get with your CF, steroids treats the inflammation you get with your CF, your treatments are just everyday things you have to do because of your CF. But this is the first drug that's ever come out that's like just treating why you have CF, if that makes sense. It's like, it's changing your cells so that they don't work like they used to with CF. But you still have the disease. It's not a cure. It's just supposed to help a lot. Um, I've just been hearing like great, so many great things about it that I'm really hoping I have the same experience, but I know a lot of people are also experiencing different things. It's such a new drug that like we're really just learning as we go and um, it's interesting because it's such a breakthrough drug that if you have the right mutations like you're put on it not really you don't like the side effects even if there were bad side effects which there might be but even if there were really bad side effects it would honestly be like you still got to go on it because it's worth it so besides the 10% of people who don't qualify for Trikafta just because of their mutations, there's also people who don't qualify for it because something else is wrong. Like one girl, I was watching her vlog and she said that she has such bad liver damage, either liver or kidney damage that she can't go on Trikafta anymore or, or any of the drugs, Simdeco. Or Kaleidico. I know someone else who had like a terrible reaction to it mentally and they stopped it. So there's a lot of reasons why people are stopping Trichafta or they just can't go on it. Um, everyone who's on the clinical trial for Trichafta had to have 40% or higher lung function. I, which is so, the funny thing is when you have 40% or lower, that's when we start talking about transplant. So basically everyone who was like starting to think about transplant didn't qualify for drink, like didn't qualify for the trials of Trikafta, but now we're finally getting it. But we, the doctors don't know how you're going to react to it because no one with severe lung damage has taken it. So they don't know how much it's going to increase your FEV1, your lung function. It's supposed to increase it 10 
to 15% if you have moderate, 40% or higher lung function. But if you have lower, we just really don't know. But honestly, I've been stuck in like, I have never, since, sorry, honestly, since around, I can't think of a time where I really gained a lot of lung function. I've literally just been like, steadily going down, it has steadily been decreasing for years now. And no matter how much antibiotics I get, nothing is helping. Physical therapy, everything is just prolonging the time it's taking to decline. Literally nothing's bringing it up. So any drug that is gonna help me bring up my lung function, like I can't even fathom that. I'm pretty excited to see what happens. I'm just gonna be updating you guys every time I feel a significant change and then like one week, two weeks, blah blah. Anyways, yeah. We'll see what happens. Hi. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry I don't have like a cool intro thing. <laughs> on my channel yet or any like YouTube art stuff but I'm working on it. My friend said she's gonna help me over a winter break. So hopefully I'll have it soon. Here it is guys I just got it <coughs> in the mail. You open it up it looks like this. You take two in the morning and one at night. So I'm gonna take my morning dose. And you have to take it with food. So I'm eating oatmeal. <laughs> Tastes very bad. Yay! Okay. I'll update you guys as I start to feel something from it. I just took my evening dose of Trichafta and I might be a little paranoid, but I definitely felt different today. Like, kind of odd. Like, I really don't know how to describe it. I saw my friend and I had a really good day, but like my mind just felt really weird. I that doesn't make sense. <laughs> kind of just felt like it was hard to like gather words or like say the right words. I don't know. Oh, but I felt like good. Genuinely good. Um also was coughing. A little not more than usual but like more like stuff like mucus and stuff was coming out so yeah let's just day one I'll if I feel a significant difference in a couple more days I'll do another video but if not I'll probably just do update in like a week and then yeah okay good night I'm just not even wearing a nasal cannula. I'm just using this. I don't have oxygen. But, anyways, I feel like. I do think that I feel a little better already. Just a little bit. Like, a little bit more energy. Plus, I'm coughing up a lot of, like. Instead of coughing, like, thick mush. Thick coughing up thick mucus like I usually do. I'm coughing up like thin liquidy mucus. That's the only thing I've noticed so far. But I've only been on it for two days. I've only taken three doses. So hopefully I'll notice way more side effects than just this. But yeah. Hi. Okay. 
It's day three of me taking track after. One, two, three, I still have to take my night dose. Um, so, so far, I've noticed actually a little change. Um, I've noticed like, usually like when I walk around the house, even if I just like got up, walked around the house to like eat some food, you know, wash my face, brush my teeth, do all that stuff. By the end of all of that, I was feeling like super like short of breath. Just like I couldn't breathe at all. And I'd have to go back in my room and put on my backpack. But recently, just over the past couple days, I've been able to like do things like that and not immediately have to go back on my iPad or just been able to like be on my nasal cannula more without having to go on my BiPAP which makes me happy because like when I'm on my BiPAP I'm just on my bed sorry I'm always looking the viewfinder instead of the camera but when I'm on my BiPAP I just have to sit on my bed it's just not very fun but I do think that it's helping me like be able to walk around a bit. The problem is that, so basically, I am on the long transport list, but I wanted to try this drug out with my lungs with, because that's what it mainly helps. See if it's all over your body, but it mainly helps your lungs. So, like, if I got a transplant and then was on track after it would help my digestive system a little bit but like not really so I do want to try it with the lungs that I have um so my spot on the list is actually paused right now and I'm going to try try after for probably like a month or so and then like this is like what I honestly expect and what my doctors expect too is that I'm going to be put back on the list but Trick is just going to end up helping me because you really want to be as healthy as possible. Like, you want to be sick to, I've said this so many times, but you want to be sick enough to qualify for the lung transplant, but as healthy as possible so that you recover really well. So, my doctors are really thinking that Trick is just going to make me, like, just super ready for transplant so that I can recover really well from it. But yeah, I'm probably gonna give it a month or so and then like resume my spell on the list. It's just like kinda sucks because I was honestly really prepared to have a lung transplant this year and knowing that it's not gonna happen kinda bothers me. But it's just so weird because like I've been so prepared to get new lungs for so long. Like, I feel so ready for it. And then suddenly this new drug is thrown at me and it's like, you're, like, you're probably like get a lung, gonna get a lung transplant. Not when you expected to get it. <laughs> Which I'm not upset about because you want a lung transplant to be like your last option. But it's just weird to prepare yourself for that. And I'm kind of like a little bit bothered because I prepared myself to get like new lungs soon and feel like very healthy soon. And Trikafta would make you feel better, but it can't reverse damage. Like it can't reverse damage to a certain extent. And my lungs are pretty damaged. So, yeah, but I started getting, there's like this uneasy feeling from the track after, like, I watched Mary Fry's video on her track after, like, three month update or like something, and she said that she definitely had this weird feeling that she said was like, almost like a low blood sugar feeling, but it wasn't that, and I had that exact feeling, it just feels like, nervous like shaky like she, like she said but she said it went away well like she said she, something weird happened and she like 
walked into walls. But, like her mood was off and I feel like that too. Like my brain doesn't feel fully connected. Like I totally feel like I could walk into a wall. <laughs> but anyways, besides that, I don't really feel anything like that from it. Um, I'll keep updating you guys. I'll keep updating you guys. It is day four on Trikafta. I know I literally updated you guys on day three, so I don't, this is kind of unnecessary, but I can't sleep. I literally can't sleep since I started taking on day one. I've been staying up till like four in the morning, four or five in the morning. It's ridiculous. And it's not just because I'm, like, I'm on my phone staring at a screen. I read. I put my clothes away. I snuggled with my dog. And tried to relax. And nothing was helping me sleep. And I wasn't just going to lie in my bed and stare at the ceiling for hours, which I had already done. So I started watching shows. Thought that that would help me fall asleep. Like shows I've already seen before. But that didn't help. Music didn't help. Ugh. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just giving me energy. And like, because I'm... It's giving me enough energy so that my brain is like wanting to stay up and do stuff. But my body's still too like weak to like really get up and like do stuff. <clears throat> so it's just like making me stay up really late. Sorry if it's hard to hear me, like I know that the, the sound, the white noise in the background is my oxygen concentrator, but yeah, hopefully you can hear me okay. I know like my friend, my friend, because we both have CF over Instagram and we both have one mutual friend, we've never met or anything, but we both started taking Trikafta at the same exact time, so we're kind of comparing symptoms ish but we haven't had the same like she had weird chest pain and then it went away and she had trouble sleeping one night but now she doesn't so i don't know but we both had this like <clears throat> weird burst of energy thing yeah um yeah that's it Hi everybody! I'm using my ring light again. Um, so, it's day 8 on Trikafta, so I completed one week. I'm so happy to have completed one week. I feel way better than I thought I was going to feel after just one week. I thought it would take a while to start, you know, feeling the effects of it, but once you did feel them, they'd be great. But, like, I started feeling the effects one this day i took the first dose of trikafta so i've been on it eight days and i just feel better i'm not coughing as much as i was before and like when i did cough before it was like huge coughing attacks that would either be really dry and terrible and make me like throw up or they would bring up a lot of mucus but it was just like gross and then i'd get like headaches after just feels so shitty after or it was just embarrassing if I was like with friends or in public um but now I honestly like I cough still obviously but they're just not like as draining and like ginormous so that's great um another thing was I got up to go to a doctor's appointment like early in the morning and I had to drive all the way to UCLA which is like a 40 minute drive almost an hour so I usually feel like shit when I have to wake up that early like throughout the day I'm just terrible like so and so a lot of pain like my body's just like aching and just saying like go back to sleep and this time it really did not say that to me I got up and I was like hey I'm awake and it was just fine throughout the rest of the day um, so yeah, I've been getting up a little bit earlier, and 
the it the like it wasn't letting me fall asleep for the few first few days but now that's pretty much gone um another thing is like i still don't feel like the fully connected like i'm at a loss of words a lot of times like, i'm just like um like i don't know like <laughs> i just don't feel like i can think of something right away like how i used to which just like brain fog i have a lot of brain fog and uh, but i'm hoping that will go away i have the shakes kind of <coughs> um yeah but that's pretty much it i'm really excited to see how i'll feel after one month i've even like tech okay this doesn't make sense but In order for me to feel like not headachey, nauseous, terrible, I literally need like seven liters of oxygen. But in order to stay above 90% saturation, I only need two liters of oxygen. But I'll just feel terrible unless it's like I'm kind of blasting the oxygen. And I don't know if anyone else feel this, feels this way, but I feel like the oxygen in the hospital that comes like straight from the wall is way better than like the at-home concentrator oxygen even though doctors are always like it's the exact same thing it feels completely different to me so when i'm at home i need to raise it even more so like i was straight up on 10 liters usually when i walk around and stuff and i brought it down to eight which is a little different to me so um that's it I almost am at 500 subscribers. Yay! Thank you guys. Um, I really didn't think that many people would subscribe, but I'm so happy that I almost have 500. Um, I'm gonna be adding channel art soon, and I'm gonna be posting more, trying to. I just didn't feel motivated for a little bit, but that's it. But. I hope this video is not too long. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll keep updating you about Tricapta. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye!